Hello, watching VN News Bulletin. I'm Bang Ho from another airline as usual. Love sent to soldiers on islands. Safe, attractive destinations open up opportunities for tourism recovery. And how it starts to go there in Vietnam. The Lunar New Year Tet holiday is fast approaching, and a modern gift is piling up for delivery to soldiers on the Chung Sa archipelago, an inseparable part of Vietnam. These gifts are considered encouragement to soldiers to overcome the difficulties and fulfill their mission, contributing to formally protecting national sovereignty over seas and islands. Before each date, the youth club for the homeland seas and islands rushes to prepare gifts for soldiers on duty on Vietnam's islands. Letters from children on the mainland with simple yet sincere words made the soldiers feel delighted and moved. These gifts are very meaningful. They are seen as encouragement for the soldiers to overcome the difficulties and fulfill their mission. Tons of gifts and essential goods for Ted are packaged for delivery to soldiers on duty on the islands. We are happy to join the youth club for the homelands, seas and islands in this endeavor. We provide local specialties to send to soldiers on Chiang Sa and the DK1 platform. The 2022 Lunar New Year is just around the corner. These tea gifts are lovingly sent to soldiers, contributing to firmly protecting national sovereignty over Vietnam's seas and islands. Xuân Du Commune in New Thanh District is the well-known peach blossom area in the central province of Thanh Hoa. As the Lunar New Year on Tate approaches, local gardeners are busy taking care of their trees so they will bloom on time and welcome in Vietnam's biggest holiday season. Xuân Du is known as the capital of peach blossoms in Thanh Hoa province. Over the past 10 years, local authorities have carried out plans to expand the growing area to turn peach blossoms into a key economic item. Most local residents plant peach blossoms. Every year in lunar November, local gardeners begin the final stages of caring for their trees so they will bloom just as this arrives. The weather has been favorable this year, so I hope the trees will be in full bloom during the lunar new year. Egg tree can sell at prices ranging from 700,000 VND to 5 million VND. According to peach growers in Sun Tzu, plucking peach tree leaves requires care and meticulousness because any callousness will affect the eyes and buds. At this time, many peach growers in Sun Tzu spend tens of millions of doing hiring workers to do this manual work. My family grows 1,500 big trees. We expect that about 1,000 will be sold for dead, which is a little bit higher than in previous years. Some trees have already been booked by traders. In 2021, Sun Tzu commune expanded its big tree growing area by 5 hectares, bringing the total area to 290 hectares. The peach trees in Sun Tzu are healthy with large flower buds, long-lasting blossoms, eye-catching colors and green leaf buds. 
the trees are always preferred by customers every day. The northern province of Buckning remains a bright spot in the industrial property market in the north, taking the lead in supply and demand for industrial activities, said experts from southern Vietnam. Despite COVID-19 pandemic, occupancy rates of industrial property in several provinces in northern key economic region remain stable, amounting to 87% of the total and nearly 20,600 hectares for lease, up 2.4% annually. Bucking and Hanoi continue leading the region. With 15 projects, Bucking led the northern key economic region with nearly 5,800 hectares of industrial parks, an average occupancy rate of 99%. Its supply of factories and warehouses was also 10.3% higher than the country's. It was followed by Haiphong with 7.6%, Haizhong 4.8%, and Taiwan 4.6%. According to Savile's Vietnam Industrial Services, these activities will be more effective next year with more supplies when social distancing order in several areas is lifted. The COVID-19 pandemic has turned many people's lives upside down. For the poor, their already difficult circumstances have become even more worrisome. In the central province of Nghệ An, the local branch of the Vietnam Bank for Social Policies stepped up disbursements from the Unemployment Insurance Fund to help the poor overcome their difficulties and restore production. As the near poor household, when COVID-19 broke out, the life of Nguyễn Văn Tuệ became even more difficult. He and his wife, who was self-employed, now don't have a job. Fortunately, he received support from the Vietnam Bank for Social Policies in the An branch with a loan of 90 million dong, around $4,000. He used the funds to buy four buffaloes and develop a farming model. Thanks to the loan from the bank, my family can start a farm and have a relatively stable life. Due to COVID-19, workers at industrial zones return to their hometown but do not have jobs, thanks to the loans from the bank. However, the household economy has been maintained. The COVID-19 pandemic has resulted in thousands of jobless workers returning to their hometowns. Nghe An saw the return of nearly 100,000 workers, most of whom are members of poor and near poor households. From May to September 2021, the Vienna Bank for Social Policies Nghe An branch dispersed nearly $3.5 million to more than 19,000 poor households and other beneficiaries. In order to implement the dual goals of pandemic prevention and economic recovery, we have sped up disbursement so that people can quickly access capital to conduct business and stabilize their lives. We also pay attention to unemployed people who have returned from major cities due to the pandemic. The bank will continue to focus on borrowers who are poor or near poor, especially those hard hit by COVID-19. According to the plan, from now to the end of the year, the Vienna Bank for Social Policies in the An branch will disperse a further $150 million to support poor and near poor households at risk during the COVID-19 pandemic. After a long hiatus caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, Vietnam has piloted welcoming foreign investors back to several key tourist areas. Safety for tourists, travel businesses and destinations have always received top priority, thus helping boost the tourism industry's recovery and development. Specifically, the Vietnam National Administration of Tourism launched a campaign called Live Fully in Vietnam in mid-November to popularize the pilot program towards the full reopening of the country in 2022. 
The five destinations chosen for this scheme are the northern province of Quảng Ninh, Quảng Nam province, Đà Nẵng City and Khánh Hòa province Nha Trang in the central region and Phú Quốc Island in the Mekong Delta province of Kiên Giang. In the coming time, the tourism sector will continue to focus on exploiting the domestic tourism market, putting safe tourism on the top and bringing truly impressive and unforgettable experiences to visitors. Gon Ha Nung Plateau in the Central Highlands province of Sa Lai, recognized as a World Biosphere Reserve by UNESCO and the 33rd section of its International Coordinating Council of the Man and the Biosphere Program in Nigeria in last September, is expected to create more opportunities to attract both domestic and international organizations to invest in conservation and development projects in this region. The recognition affirms efforts of Vietnam and Zalai province in particular in protecting biodiversity, an ecosystem, and promoting sustainable development. It also helps boost ecotourism and community livelihoods as well as attract international scientific research. Covering an area of about 413,500 hectares, the Gon Han Nung Biosphere Reserves comprise of two zones, Gon Ka King National Park and Gon Churang Natural Reserve. Gon Ha Nung is home to rare species such as Ray Shang Rock, a rare and endemic private species of Vietnam and classified as critically endangered, with only about 1,000 individuals in the wild. This biosphere reserve plays an important role in social economic development and maintaining the ecological balance of not only the Central Highlands region, but also the Central and Southeast regions of Vietnam. Located in Long Bing Ward, Thủ Đức City, Ho Chi Minh City, Bill Long Pagoda shares the same architecture with pagodas in Thailand. It's the Thai style architecture that makes Bill Long become a unique pagoda in Vietnam. Situated on the hill, Bill Long Pagoda is easily recognized thanks to its striking yellow tower. After its establishment in 1942, Bu Long Pagoda undergone several restoration and reconstruction efforts. By 2007, it has become an outstanding architectural representative for the fusion between the Nguyen Dynasty and the Southeast Asian culture, embodying several design elements from both sources. Standing in the pagoda compound, one of your buffet's serenity as they listen to the gentle tingles of white chimes on top of the tower the peaceful sounds of water flowing from the lake outside the main hall. Visitors are also impressed by the pagoda's splendid architecture and can get lost in Buddhism by listening to the monk's Dhamma talk. The pagoda has been upgraded several times, but its architecture remains intact. Being situated on a hill, which is about 20 kilometers far from the city center and shadowed with green trees year-round, Bulong Pagoda provides a cool space for visitors. Bulong Pagoda boasts a unique architecture. It's very spectacular. And that's the crop our news bulletin. Thanks for watching. As soon as time.